A very good morning. You're joining ITN News with me, Vibhuda Vijay Bandar. First, let's have a look at today's headlines. Parliament dissolved. General election is likely to be held on April 25th. Sammagi Jana Balavege convene internal crisis in the UNP. The second interim report on the Easter Sunday attacks handed over to the President. A beach cleaning project is in the offing with the support of prison inmates. And from news overseas, exit polls give Netanyahu narrow lead in Israel election. And now for the news in detail. The parliament was dissolved from midnight yesterday. The extraordinary gasset notification to dissolve parliament was sent to the government press for printing. Sources from the Elections Commission say that the election is likely to be held on April 25th. Nominations will be accepted from 12th to 19th of March. Sources also say that the new parliamentary session will be held on the 14th of May. As per the 19th Amendment, the President has been empowered to dissolve the House in the completion of four and a half years of sitting. The five-year office of the current parliament began on September 1, 2015, following the general election held on August 17 of the same year. The UNP Working Committee decided yesterday that the elephant symbol should be used to contest the upcoming general election. However, the inaugural conference of the Samagi Janabalavege was held under the aegis of, aegis of Sajid Premadasa yesterday. In the recent working committee, Ranil Vikramasinghe proposed that the elephant symbol should be used in the upcoming general election. However, Sajid Premadasa said the telephone should be the symbol. There was a heated situation in the working committee. Meanwhile, the inaugural conference of the Samagi Jana Balavege was held at the Nelum Pokuna Mahinda Rajapaksa Theatre. Twelve parties symbolically signed the agreement. MPs Mangala Samarvira and Ranjan Ramanayaka were present at the conference. Meanwhile, Ranil Vikramasinghe had informed the UNP delegates to arrive at the party headquarters at Sirikotha when the first convention was being held. The second interim report of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry appointed to probe Easter Sunday attacks was handed over to President Gotabe Rajapaksa at the Presidential Secretariat. The first interim report was handed over on December 20, 2019. The commission was appointed by the former president Maitri Palasirisena on September 22, 2019 to investigate the series of attacks that took place on the Easter Sunday same year and to rec recommend necessary actions. The final report will be compiled following further investigations. Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa says that those who sell domestic resources to foreigners have much to learn from the characters of the clergy and laity. The Prime Minister made this statement participating at the 205th commemoration of Venerable Variopala Sri Sumangala Thera. The ceremony was held at the Sri Sumangala Pirivena. Subsequently, the Prime Minister joined the opening of the Dhammavira Bhikkhu Centre and Pier 7 at the Malyadeva Arihatta Raja Mahaviharaya. The Prime Minister also participated in the opening of the Ganevata Cultural Centre. The World Health Organization says the world is in uncharted territory on the coronavirus outbreak. Deaths globally have passed 3,000. As of 2nd March 2020, more than 3,086 deaths have been attributed to coronavirus. Most are in China, but over the past day, there were nine times more new infections outside China than inside. There are now almost 90,000 cases worldwide in about 70 countries, although the vast majority, just under 90%, remain in China, and most of those are in the Hubei province, where the virus originated late last year. An MOU was signed to implement a project to keep beaches clean and tidy as part of the government's tourism promotion project. The project is implemented by the Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Justice and Prison Rehabilitation and the Avant Garde Company. The MOU was signed by State Minister Arundika Fernando and Chairman of the Avant Garde Group Nisanka Senadipati. 
chairperson of Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority, Commissioner General of Prisons and several key officials were present at the event. Once in a month or twice a month, as for the requirement, the prison department inmates voluntarily along with us are coming to the this particular project to clean the all the beaches around the country where the foreigners comes or we, they, whether they do not come and to maintain the environment 100 percent clean and for that i must thank once again to the honorable minister that he promised to start a mini hotel school or inside or outside that i am getting a permission from the prison and the government to use these inmates to get these uh, inmates to keep outside and even to give them hostel facility and to protect by the prison department for them to study properly this particular hospitality trade the subjects the construction of the new Kalani bridge the first cable bridge project in the country is nearing the completion the bridge is expected to be rested with the public next year the bridge connecting the Katunayak Expressway and the Rajagiriya Bataramula Outer Circular Highway is constructed with Japanese loan assistance. The estimated cost for this project is 9,800 million rupees. With that, we end today's ITN News. Take care and have a pleasant day.